Hello, this is Lindsay and welcome back to today's video. This is a sponsored video from the Magnolia Seed. I had she sponsored one of my videos before and she was so kind to send me her next journal kit. And it's actually she sent me two different ones and I am so thrilled. I know she's been selling them. So I don't know if there's any more of these left in her shop, but please visit her shop anyway, because she has incredible things. So even if one of these are sold out, she has so many amazing things and she is known for her boho beads. And I can't believe she spoiled me so much as to send me a whole bag full of her incredible boho beads to add to my journals. I She sent me, I think, one or two in the last um, package that she sent me, and I was talking about hoarding them because I loved them so much, so she wanted to make sure she sent me enough so I wouldn't hoard them, but I don't know. I still love them so much. I will probably hoard them for a while, but no, they will eventually find their way to a lovely journal um, in my shop, I'm sure. So incredible boho beads. You need to check her boho beads out. Now, um, she has two different kits here. Her packaging is like incredible. I wish I, I definitely wish that I uh, did packages as well as she did. This one is called Floral Dreams. I have not opened it yet. I wanted to do that here on camera. So I am really excited to see what is in them. I know she offers only the best things. So, oh my gosh, look at these fabrics. So beautiful. Oh gosh. And then all these different um, like let trims and fibers that coordinate. And oh my goodness, I get another boho bead. And it looks like there's a couple of eyelets, not eyelets, what are these called? Um, bulb pins. There's a mushroom, love mushrooms. There's a little camera. There's a little bead dangle and then a boho bead. So. Those would go so incredibly on this journal. And she's put everything, she said she calls them like starter kits because it's just enough to start your own journal without, you know, being too overwhelming. And I love how she has coordinated the colors. So there's some gorgeous wallpaper here. You could also use that for the cover of the journal or the inside of the journal. And then a whole bunch of little pieces of papers and envelopes and gorgeousness. I can't believe she has coordinated these colors so perfectly. And then there's a cute little card that you can put in there as well. And I missed some playing cards. We don't want to miss those. Oh, and some little postage stamps and mini little tags. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I was planning on totally parting out this kit like I usually do and putting it just in my supplies but I have got to probably put some of these items together in the same journal because they are so perfectly coordinated color wise. I do not come near that when I do my kits. My kits tend to be more all over the place. So gorgeous. And I love how she put them in these bags. You can reuse the bags in your journals as well. And everything fits in there really nice. So if you can't get to it right away, you can just put the little bag on your shelf. It's already, you know, just title it and date it. And whenever you want to be ready to go, you just pull it out and go. Get started on it. And it gives you inspiration because sometimes it's hard to know what direction we want to go when we're making a new journal. And this way you already have a direction for you. You just grab everything else in your stash that you want to go along with it. So let's look at this one. It's called Sorry Not Sorry. And I think that's a cute name and I'm so excited to see what she might have put in here. So I see gorgeous fibers, beautiful colors. Oh, wow. I've been wanting to get my hands on some pieces this beautiful of sari. Look at how gorgeous. I do sell some in my shop. So, okay, so this, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. This fabric here, she wrapped something in it, I think last time. I loved it so much. I actually put it in my personal junk journal. So when I do my flip through of that, you will see it. But look at these colors. And then she packages them so nicely. And then another boho bead. Oh my word. So we have a little passport. That's cute. Little tag, little bead, and then a beautiful boho bead. I love the colors on that. So gorgeous. 
she gives me ideas definitely definitely oh my goodness and then here's the little paper packet here Let's pull it out and see what she sent oh an extra boho bead and some little jingle bells a whole bunch of cards beautiful cards that can be used throughout look at those colors Oh my goodness, you guys need to run to her shop and see if any of these are left. And if not, please send her a message and tell her how much you like her kits and keep, ask her to um, send out as many as possible. These kits are send out, <laughs> put together as many as possible. She also said that these kits are for a charitable cause and there is... Um, someone who she is trying to support and to help financially and 50 percent of the proceeds of these will go to help someone in need so i think that is wonderful for this holiday season i think that is just so so um, thoughtful of her to be doing that so you can be a part of that as well so thank you so much for um just blessing me with these incredible incredible pieces of art and if you have not checked out and favorited the magnolia seed shop or her youtube channel please 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 do that her links are in my description box below and i will see all of you in the next video thank you so much for watching